Welcome to One Chemistry. Always try to do your best. Now let us see about Bachmann rearrangement. It's an important naming reaction. We will see some basics, mechanism, and ten solved problems from the examinations. What is inside this video? We will see what is Bachmann rearrangement and basics of it. Later we will see the mechanism. and i provide some tricks to solve the problem then i want to fully solve problems from net gate and jam and ta for here various structures are taken from the examination to make the concept clear what is bachmann rearrangement in simple term it's a conversion of oxime to amine basically what really happen is migration of alkyl group here r2 group is there which migrates and form the amine there here catalyst can be an acid it can be lewis acid or branched acid most common one is h plus the reaction is very much serious this week normally trans group migrates the meaning is that the group trans to the oh will migrate irrespective of anything only trans positional group migrates and form the desired rearrangement the trans migrating group move from the carbon to the nitrogen then the mechanism it will be easy first step you have addition of h plus ion h plus ion makes the oh good leaving group oh2 which is water then the r1 group is trans to the oh group which push the oh2 group outside so it form the cation because of the migration the cation is merged by the removed water which is oh minus attacks you have alcohol there there is a possibility of tautomerism so hydrogen shifts from oxygen to nitrogen So R1 trans to OH through the migration. Here hydrogen valency compensated by the Tata mechanism. So the mechanism is easy. H plus addition, water removal, OH minus attack, and Tata mechanism. Here you should know one exception. Stable cation forms ionic irrespective of rearrangement without undergoing rearrangement. Here H plus attack OH to is there. Instead of rearrangement, what really happen is. the stable cation remove from the system to quench the charges it forms cyanide so stable cation don't allow migration the charge quench the cyanide it is called bachmann fragmentation then i provide some tricks to solve the problem it is easy first you have to choose the trans group here it is r1 you migrate the trans group to the nitrogen where the migrating place you have to write co then compensate the nitrogen valency by hydrogen so three steps migration co writing and the valency of nitrogen we will learn bachmann rearrangement more thoroughly through example here i want 10 solved problems from various examination net gate jam and tafr let us see the first problem here you have phenyl substitute oxime here you have phenyl and oh groups are trans to each other so once you add water h2o try to leave and trans group migrates you have o attachment so finally you have trans mode product so you have phenyl migrated product so if you apply the trick directly migrate the group hydrogen writing and co there then let us see the next example it's a very important example last in many examination here it is a ring oxime so you have trans carbon in the ring So how we mobilize? Here I given the numbers for your understanding. The ring will expand from six member to seven member. Then cation forms. OH attacks. Tata mechanism. The final product is obtained. Here trans group is ring methyl. So mode and CO is formed there. So the ring expansion is the key here. Then let us see the very important fact: the chiral carbon migration. What really happen if the chiral carbon is the trans group? it will have retention in configuration no change in the chirality or configuration here trans group is chiral which i mentioned as star there after the water removal you have migration happened and what really happened is the retention of configuration through the end so the mechanism is a kind of concentrated not the isolated cation formation so the concept here is migration happen with retention of configuration Let us see the next example. Here you have fusel system. One side benzene, another side cyclohexene. You have again the trans group is the ring carbon. So 
so what really happened it migrates you have ring expansion from six member to seven member so the fact here is trans group is the ring methyl group ring expansion is happen here then let us see the next problem here you have five member ring with oxygen there the H plus attacks you have water elimination and the ring will expand here so you have cation formation OH attacks you have final amide there here the ring strain help the reaction to move faster so ring strain assisted reaction here then let us see the next problem you have two fused ring with oxygen there here trans group is again the ring methyl group it migrates you have ring expansion happened there final product is a ring expanded amide here also ring strain help the reaction to go faster oxygen converted from 5 member ring to 6 member ring the strain is relieved during the reaction then let us see the next example here both side phenyl attached oxygen there here again the same mechanism H plus attacks trans group which is phenyl group also can migrate OH attack final product amide there here the fact here is even the phenyl group can migrate form as the amide then again the fuser system 4 member and 6 member system you have oxygen you have trans methyl group which is the ring group so the strain is relieved from the reaction so you have 5 member ring formation finally amide so 4 member ring become 5 member ring by Beckman rearrangement the reaction is feasible because ring strain helps the reaction to get faster. The strain is removed during the reaction. Then let us see the next example. Like any other aromatic system, even pyrrole can migrate. So here the oxygen is there. Pyrrole is the opponent which is trans group. So which migrates you have final product as the amine there. So the fact here is even bulkier aromatic group also can migrate. Then let us see the final example which is the Beckman fragmentation. Here trans group is the kind of bridged carbon. While you break it up you have the cation formation. So if you redraw nicely it will form as a cyanide. Here charge is quenched as the cyanide there. So the stable cation always form Beckman fragmentation. Let us summarize what we have seen. Beckman reaction is a conversion of oxygen to amide in presence of acid. The reaction is stereospecific, so trans group always migrate, you form amide there. Then the Beckman fragmentation, if there is a stable cation formation, always you ended up with the Beckman fragmentation, always you have cyanide there. That's all from this video, I hope it was useful, thanks for watching. If you really like my video, do subscribe and share.